Hey guys, welcome back to City Skylines, where today we're picking up on a very bit of fun episode here. But first, I want to just cover quickly, what do you think of this? Let me know in the comment section below. And another thing I want to cover quickly is the giveaway that's coming up on the 26th of August, two days from now. If you're not already signed up to that, try and sign up by all means. Assume it's already 26 when you're watching this. It's literally in the Discord link below. In that link, you simply verify that you understand the rules, which are basically Discord's template rules. Click yeah, and then you'll see a channel called giveaways and you just literally click participate and that's it. There's no requirements to it. Obviously only apply for it once. Don't try and participate twice. Just be nice about it. And when we do the roll on the 26th, we'll find out who won and whoever does win will then be gifted the not it's got software ink on their steam and i already alluded now i've already opened the door six guidelines 2 is going to be up on that list at some point in the upcoming month so keep an eye out for that with that said though let's get back into the city and focus on the actual matters that we came in for today so what i want to do today is really redesign our current transport system because this is just terrible um and i definitely want to move the post depot so what i'm thinking of doing is building a road here and having the depot here maybe so first off i'm going to get rid of you because you're of no use to me and i'm not going to get rid of that i'm just going to move this mast to over here for now okay and then what we're going to do real quick is we're going to just bring a basic road out from there apparently it can go straight on oh well, I won't do it all the way, but I just wanted to see if it could actually go straight on then. Right, and then we'll build you that. That shouldn't force them all to return to depot because it's the same depot. It didn't from the looks of it. Good. And then I'm going to move you there. And then I've got the fun task of getting rid of that and this. Some people aren't happy about that. That's fine. I'm not too worried about that. And I'm going to do... Hmm... What I want to do is have a transport hub somewhere, but I also want to add to the infrastructure. So I'm going to go somewhere in the middle. It's the sound of refreshment. Okay. Let's line it up with the schools and I'm going to place it. I feel like here, are vehicles despawning? Is it me? Or am I seeing vehicles despawn? Does that mean on or off? Oh, okay. No despawning on. Oops. I didn't realize I had it on then. I'm like, I just saw one disappear and I was like, are vehicles despawning? Because that shouldn't be the case. Okay, so let's have a look what we got going on here. A lot of people, okay. And a lot of cars being used to try and get away. Okay, um... So it's definitely an issue that needs addressing and I definitely want to do so but I want to do so in a clever way and not just flood the area with these metros necessarily hmm. what I want to do is I want to have a transport hub over here like a major connection hub and we've also got over here to link so we're going to pause time and we're going to actually invest in getting rid of some stuff here for now, like that. And then up to here, like so. Okay. And then we're going to get rid of you. And then this. Okay. And I'm going to do something here that's going to be a bit more clever than it looks right now. And it's going to be move you out the way of that. Move you up here. Do that, and then get rid of you, 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 and you. Okay, and then it's going to be to drag these out. I'll do you again in a second. Drag you out. I don't think I need to drag that out for this to work. Not yet, at least. And then, drag that out quickly. Doing that like so right okay so the mast here needs to just move along a bit further 
But other than that, it looks like we've managed to build the ideal area. Right, and then what I'm going to do is you're going to get relocated to preferably over here somewhere. And then I'll sneak that in as well. And we'll try and make this look a bit better than it is, just like there. Okay, so now I've got this area here practically ready to build on but before we do anything with it i just for now want to make it absolutely clean okay and then i'm gonna let time go real quickly get all those pads out of the way boom right i'm aware that's isolating this island off from them right now perfectly fine we'll resolve that shortly right so i want to build a road out to there and then out to here and then into there okay so that's the hub area drawn out now so there's an argument to be made that this ground won't be level everywhere currently and i think that's actually a really good argument okay then um let's real quickly just do something like this maybe okay Give that an extra bit, maybe. Right, so, okay, that's better now then. Right, and then we'll add this back in. And that as well. Okay. That looks pretty decent, but I don't like how the edges are. Oh, definitely undo that. How about we... Do something like this, bolster it a bit, and then just very nicely just get the touching up it needs. Like that. Still not a big fan of it, but we'll go with that. So then what I'm gonna do, we'll have like a, a shipping lane here. We'll be definitely gonna do a downtown station first and foremost. So what I wanna do is I wanna get a passenger line if we can. And I don't want it to link straight into the mains. And that's something I want to make sure we don't do here. So the way we're going to make sure that doesn't happen is we're going to have this kind of road ring that goes around here. Like this. Okay. I love how that wants to elevate. Okay. Into there and into there. I'm not a big fan of some of these connections, so I might do some diagonal ones maybe if it doesn't want to elevate every five minutes. Okay. Can I do a lock down to ground on that? I can. So if we do a lock onto ground, that means it won't elevate, thankfully. That could look better, but I'm gonna go with it. Right station is going to go right here okay and it's going to go underground of course how far under are we oh it's because it's locking onto ground that's my fault okay how far back can i go until okay that much right and then how far to here okay that's pretty decent and then so what i'm gonna do real quick is we're gonna find the node for this it's here just gonna level you out and then you as well okay <laughs> then what i'm gonna do is we're gonna have sort of interchange here from the metro um probably gonna do a it's the overlapping that's the issue do we have like a uh, a link that we can do maybe hang on off we get train metro hub Ooh. i like the idea of that i do and it could actually work <laughs> Yeah, hmm. 
What's it look like? Let's build it over here quickly. Let's actually have a look at it. Okay, so the train's coming in like that. Okay. Where's the metro part? Like... That's not a metro. So what is a metro? This is a met... Okay, I get it now. Metro, train, skybridge linking them. Main road. Okay. Not a big fan of that. What else have we got? Hmm. Make sure we're above ground and not below. This is Earl Gibb, and you're listening to Sunny Breeze, where the living is easy, folks. What is this? Multi-platform station. An end of the line train station with 12 platforms, each having separate tracks connected to allowing passengers to change lines easily. Metro train tram hub wave road. Wow, that's a big combine that. Metropolitan airport, international airport, okay. Oh, I can select which ones I want to link. Okay, right, so I want a metro with an intercity buzz hub but nothing major so this is the kind of thing we're going to go with and then we'll do the train station on this end here i think just to give it that cool-esque vibe hmm get rid of those quickly and then this get rid of this okay i'm gonna have it linked to the mains i shouldn't Really, but we're gonna we find the middle line here. That looks like it could line up a bit. Are you facing the wrong way? Oh no, that's the underground bit. Ignore me. Oh, okay. Let's actually line this up so those look like they're going onto the mains. Okay. I can live with that. Got metro, then a bus station. Okay. Hmm. Can you tell I'm really thinking about this? Because I kind of want to have a train line too. So I want to see what it would look like if we had a train line here. So we have this train and metro hub. Okay. Let's do the train and metro hub quickly. Okay. And it's going to go on the end of this here. Okay. Hmm. This actually can work because you're linking over there and you're linking over here. Okay, this can work. So what I need to do now over here is we need to come into the train area and I just need a connection that runs onto this. A bit close to that. So what I'm going to do is we're going down here preferably and then kind of want the same branching off here okay i'm gonna turn off snapping real quick on everything okay there we go and i'll do the curve on that in a minute but we've got our node there so we know where that's coming from right so what i want now in Theory is to just have a simple goes underground out the site out of mind. Okay. And the same with the metro, really. Okay, we'll do both of them so they line up at least, and then that way they give off a bit of a vibe to them. Okay. 
Can we upgrade the road on this in theory? I feel like we should be able to, but I doubt it will actually work. Yeah, now you can see I can do area of a road here. I don't know what this would be changing. Let's be changing the type of tree. Yeah, it just edits the type of trees. Uh, not style, but just randomizes it. Oh, it's because I have this on. Oh, okay. So it's fast upgrading it. Right, okay. So we've got that connection for them. And then what I want to do, right, is have some stations here that are just in use. And then other than that, I'll probably... I have a one-way road that just goes up to here and then branch off to here. Okay, it does something like that and then we'll worry about the actual connecting points in a second here. Do something like that, okay. Do that, okay. that I like it I think that can work so we've got that connection there then intentionally not linked to that by all intent and this almost certainly needs a bit of neatening up a bit give it a bit of edge to a game okay weaken that down a bit That's a bit better. Now I'm aware you're on land now, so let's move you out a bit. Okay, that's better. I haven't got a clue what's going on here with this, but I'm not questioning that right now. So we've got our train and tram here. Then we're having the buzz line that's going there. Okay. And then what I want to do is I want to... Oh, I've had a really stupid but clever idea, I think. What if we had a tram that went down the road? Is that a bit too stupid? I think it could work if we did this connection here. So what I need to do then to get this up and running is right now, simply just give myself enough area to work with. Okay, okay, right, okay. And then we can at least build that without having it look a bit too silly. Okay. That's pretty, pretty bone basic, but I'll, I'll go with that. We've got the university still to build that's going to be more custom. Okay. I'm gonna make this look a bit neater than it currently does. Let's go back a bit further. Okay. So what I need to do here, really, is bring that out a bit. And in fact, let me move that real quick. Bring that out another little bit. Okay. And then we need to get our bend it tool just so... There we go, that's better. Okay. Right, that looks better than it did. We've definitely got some work to do on this coast if it's going to look better, but we'll we'll tackle that shortly. So we've got you here. You're operating and you're allowed intercity trains. Okay. I feel like eventually this could continue inwards and have stations along the road. That's why I'm not right now taking the idea up much, but I definitely think there is room for that. I would be a bit curious to whether, hmm, is future proofing this realistically what we need to do? <sighs> um, right, we can future proof it. We can work on that. So to future proof it, what I'm going to do, do that quickly and then this and give ourselves say 
half a block maybe. That plus that, okay. Right, so we need to go back into here, we need to go into the connector hubs, and it was train and metro. Okay. Correction, it was train, metro, yeah, there we go. And then, there it is. Right, bingo. Okay. So I'm cautious now that we're expanding the foot of the island a bit here, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna entertain the idea for a moment. Give it a bit more room, why not? Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is we'll actually give ourselves this road that goes up to here. Give ourselves another, say, 300 this way. 300. And then do this and this okay so then what i'm going to do real quick is just give that a bit more relaxing to it okay it doesn't look great but i think if we did a bit of sand on it maybe no that did not help it also get rid of that sand there it just doesn't help that either i'm sure there's ways we can make this look better once the, the grass starts to grow and stuff. Okay, so we've given ourselves future proofing here at least. So what we need to do now is spot the train line. I think you're the train. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty decent. Okay. It's not safe for visitors and poses serious risks to anyone who dares yeah, to that's that perfect. Way. And then what we need to do is do the same on this side. Now, I apologize that I went quiet for a second and I was just kind of picturing in my head how future this, future wise, this would work. Okay. Okay, here we go. Anyone recognize that? At the old grain mill? from our family to yours okay right so if i'm gonna link this in we have this here oh my god that looks terrible that is i know that these little nodes of mine i do usually look terrible but that is next level terrible right let's do that fix that up a bit and your train line and a metro line Train track. Okay. Let's go out a block and then go across and in. And then... I'm gonna go out four and then up by this much. Okay. Okay. And then... That's going to need to go... Hmm... Okay, I'm happy with that. I wish it had like a system where you could have the numbers. How low down it is. Okay. So that's... Pretty decent that. That's got a connection. Now all I've got to do is link our lovely metro into this. And then I've got to consider how this will link back around really. Um, or if it's going to go all the way down and then do a... <laughs> hmm. Have a circuit loop. <laughs> that would be pretty interesting. <laughs> hmm. There's a million ways you can make it link around. That's what I've been trying to picture in my head. So the metro was to go down here because I can't really do it on the coast with these because these would just be exposed. And I don't want to modify too much terrain as I feel like that's a bit too cheaty. You know what I mean? Don't matter. Right, what we'll do is for now we're going to come back into here and for now we'll just link it straight into there and while well, it jobs are good and so I don't need train any tram. 
I'm not sure how Metro. So from you to... Oh, yeah, it's not linked yet. Oops. All right, let's just fix that, shall we? Oh. I never linked this as well. <gasps> how has this island been... What are they using? To... Oh, I don't know. That is mind-blowing. They've even been operating with nothing, practically. I guess proof of concept self-sustainable is merited. I wonder if that's going to affect people's appeal to the island. They're like, I came here because it was so sustainable. Now look at it with all these pollutants and trains. Okay. Right. And... Too steep. Okay, do me a favor. Quick complaining game. I'm just peeled it. Okay. That's that circuit done. So now let's go back into this and go from you to you. And then, oh, interesting. So it isn't for recognizing this side. So if I was to go from here, And I want it to come back down to here. It doesn't seem to like the idea. I'm going to try something for a second here. So one way. One way. Okay. From you to you. Back to you. Okay. That seems to have worked. Right. Into the menu, shall we? And let's quickly go into here and just erase whatever mess we've got going on and then this is well and you quickly because i want to actually make this functional and not just the way it is right now okay right so from you down to here back to there that's pretty, pretty on the ball, that. Okay. And then you're just automatic, so I want to worry about that. And then I need to link this up. I don't know how this island has been functioning without any immediate link, though. It's been mind-blowing, that. Okay, and what we're going to do is come into this and give it a bit of a proper curve to it. There we go. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff going on there that probably needs a bit more work to it. We'll work on that in a moment. And now I want to have this one way bit just going around like that. Okay, I don't know why. Is this an oil field? Am I missing something? No. Is it ore? No. Is it grass? No. Would adding grass make a difference? No. I guess because it was under the ocean. It's technically polluted. <gasps> I should have foreseen that happening. Um, That's a pretty high tidal wave. I don't think there's much we have in order of stopping this. Other than to raise this up a bit. Give ourselves a bit of a natural barrier, maybe. This might be a bit cheaty, but hopefully that's enough of a deflector to stop the majority of the water going into the city, causing havoc. Okay. Get me a simple brush and let's... Um, Quickly and rather easily get rid of these pillars I built. Okay. So it looks like that water wave has been dealt with. So now we've got this running and we haven't got any buzz lines connected to this yet. And that's definitely something we're going to address in a moment. Um, but it needs power, which we'll address by adding in. I don't know how I'm going to address that actually. It's a fair point that needs power, but. I think car parks, maybe? I know that's a bit of a cheap way of addressing the issue, but... Yeah, car parks should do it. 
Okay, that did do it, for a matter of fact. Right, we've got a lot of traffic coming from here, so what I'm going to do now is we're going to address the next bit of the problem by putting in a lovely buzz station and having it just loop around like so. And then we're going to go on our lovely island in a minute and have some fun over there. Right, we finally get to use our new road. This is uh, pretty cool. Okay. And of course the one-way system's facing the wrong way. Okay, that should reroute the minute I go in here and rotate this around. Hoping it does. Yes, it did. Perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna see oh my god. Okay. How big are these? These are only 30s. Go back in that route. And I'm gonna gonna go with the super big ones, I think. Yeah. Get me some of those in service. I'm sure that will not cause a single issue by having a dozen of those running around. And then what I'm gonna do as well as having this here. I'm gonna for now just go down here and oh I know what I can do right hang on hang on hang on hang on oh nice okay um yeah no we'll downgrade the road to a two not like that that looks terrible is that really the only type of two road that there is This that looks terrible. I do one of those, maybe one of these. This doesn't look right, does it? Hmm. That's better. It's a shame that that looks so bottlenecked, but that isn't as bottlenecked, so we'll go with that. Right, okay. A lot of traffic and travel coming from here, like 600 people a week. That is insane. It really is. Right, back over to our lovely island though. Something I want to do quickly is I want to just pop in here and do some more house building like so. Do a bit more there maybe. Um, that's a part. And then I want to quickly do some add-ons to the hotel industry I think. We are uh, pretty good. Yeah, we're doing good. Okay. So we've got these like motels now. So I want to do one of those just, hmm, do a motel inside the campus maybe? That would be kind of cool. And then get an old inn out here somewhere. What is this? How curiosity. Is this a post office? It is. Maybe feel out there and then I can actually build what I'm trying to build at least. So I want an old inn just on this corner. Somehow that didn't evict them while also getting what it needs mostly okay cool right um another one we could do with a small hostel or a town hostel i don't see the difference necessarily it's two stars though i see that's the difference obviously okay um i will build the hostel here for now okay Right, that's fine. How are we doing back over here then? Oh my god. Not even... Not even close to filling up. 12 buzzes on that line. I... Have a feeling... We need a lot more than 12. Although... I'll add another few buzzes to the route. I I don't think the route's too unpopular. I'm a bit curious to see how much money we're making from transport. I doubt much on the transport system. Uh, look at the trains, 14 grand out. 16% of our expenses coming from this, but 1% of our income. 
Yeah, that sounds about right. What about industry? 11% of expense, but 33% of our income. Wow. 5% of our income, 2% of our income. 34% of our income comes from residents. Sounds about right. Yeah, sounds practically on the ball. Okay. Back over here. I probably need to link you in. So the way I'm going to do this real quick before we wrap up the episode is we're going to go into these parks here and I believe we can get one of these in. Oh, that looks great. And then something like, ooh, that's a bit big. Got one of these on each corner. Nice. Loving it. And then also we have these parks that are pretty small in comparison to everything around them. So I'm going to build a few of these around here. And... These should, in theory, be pretty decent for the area. Could probably get one in here. If that was an actual road and not a pathway. Do one there. And then next to it, do one of these. Nice. Right. What's the land value over here now at? 64. That's pretty cool. Fan of that. Housing level needs to go up a bit. I'm not too sure these lot have a lot of services. I know they got their... They're basic services, obviously. Hmm. They need a buzz station before I can do a buzz route over here, though. That's the thing. Okay, how are we doing on this route now we speak about buzzes again? So the station's putting about 1,000 people every once in a while. Line overview. We're still getting a lot of people just pulling cars out of their pockets, which I'm not a fan of it. <laughs> if you can't tell I'm not a fan of that idea but then again can't really complain the only other way I can stop them doing that is making this road oh actually actually I've got a way of doing this if I was to go in here um, and then go into this and I think if I've understood this right, turn off buzzes being on those lanes. Okay. And then do it so they're not on this lane. Okay. You see what I mean? So they'll change from this to that. Easy peasy, right. So then the cars shouldn't really affect them. In theory, I don't know if that's actually going to make a big difference. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, that was probably a bad call on my part. Although, if I turn that off. Okay. Have we got any other intersections? Nope. Okay. Um, Let's do this the other way around, shall we? So, no buzzes in that lane, none in that. But then in this one, no cars, and the same as the buzz lane. Try and keep it free without being a dedicated lane necessarily. Okay. A lot of cars being spawned by pocket, but I'm pretty happy with the way this is set up. So let's go into lane details and I th think we'll add a few more vehicles to it. We'll have 25 on the lane in total, like so. That should, when we have these spikes, keep it from filling up too much, which is always going to help. Now, another thing I want to do is I want to link this up in another cooler way, but I also want tours. So what I need to do is go into here, I believe, tours. Yeah. And I'm going to build you. I'm aware that this is going to have a benefit to the whole wider area. It's where you place this. That's the thing. Put it there. Okay. It's going to give them a bit of a sky rise touring ability. I'm not so much of a fan of how low that is down right now. That is really low down right now. Where is it going? Oh, I don't care. Locate market one. I don't know why I call it locate. 
I'm gonna call it local. And we've got Broad Park as well. We've got a demand for industry, which is pretty good to see. Um, so what I'm gonna do quickly, guys, one last change before we wrap the episode up. Is I'm gonna come in here and I have an idea in my head. And this is gonna help with the industry around here, because if I'm not wrong, minus deleting that. We're not making enough on the output and maintaining of crops. And we're definitely making more on the other stuff. So we're going to come in here quickly. And I think I could be wrong. But if I'm looking at this right, if I was to put in one, two, and then something like this. And then this. Okay. Oh, is it serious about that? That is annoying, but I think if I do this and then put a pathway in, I don't need anarchy on to do this, but I just need a pathway here that blocks it. I think then it will recognize, yeah, it recognized it the minute I did that. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is we're going to get ourselves an industry road so that I can build inwards. I don't know how far in this needs to go yet. I think to there should be good enough for my ball in this up a bit wrong industry menu here we go the fact that i eyed that out and actually got it right is blowing my mind right now i also love how we've got these different loots in here now okay i'm gonna do potatoes up here let me quickly change all these and then it looks a bit nicer Okay, so this is a very big potato field and you might be wondering now why have I got a roundabout in the middle of this? Other than the fact that I'm insane, probably legally by all means. I think... No, I'm actually watching that intersection on my right. I'm a bit curious to why this is backed up so much right now. Oh my god. What is... Okay. You know, I'm a pretty easygoing guy. Okay. Know what really gets my nuts. Do me a favor, game. Everybody Just temporarily has. close both our stations. I want it on the mark. On the mark. And... Not close to the mark. I know it'll work. I know it'll be fine. But it... It looks like they're sending out for so many... Okay. It's not really a big deal. I'm not saying it's a big so many of these are sending out right now but never mind. requesting but resources that they aren't exactly. considering that they are getting the resources they just gotta wait a minute <sighs> damn it is there any way I can shut this all down and let it reboot without doing the cursed way of doing it which is to clear the area's vehicles which actually clears the whole map Hmm. We're getting a bit of movement anywhere yet. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Doing it. Three, two, one. Boom. Right. Look at all those vehicles getting sent out. That is a lot of vehicles, and I'm gonna reopen this almost instantly. Okay. And we're then gonna look at where everything bottlenecks up. And then I'm also going to go in here and we're going to change how these roads work in a way. So instead of having um, all of these be like that, I'm just going to have it be those. Okay. And then I want to get the main area here to just go like this. Okay, get rid of that. Yeah. And then that way, the only insistence is on these roads instead, which should, in theory, fix a lot of issues. Um, I'm aware that traffic is still going to back up a lot right now. I wish there was a way... 
well there is a way and it's going in here and then staying on this area here So any hmm hang on right so what I want to say in here is no trucks of any sort okay and then that way why is that flipped the other way around what the heck okay do that and this is basically me saying to this road try and avoid this road outright and go all the other roads and that seems to have fixed our issue almost instantly now time to break it in the game even more that's before we do that very quickly just I had a feeling you would say that because of the angle yeah give ourselves some pathways there and then what I want to do is have some nice small silos at the end of this. Not for anything other than appearance, really. Unless there's any reason why I shouldn't have silos here. Do I have barns or silos? I'm going to do barns. Okay. And then that way we can have this nice little pathway as well. Okay. I'm cautious that that is going to flood this area briefly, but yeah, it's fine. Another thing we could do with doing is, hmm, graphic at this junction here, I want really to do that and then do this and then do this and de designate specific ways that must go okay and I'm not gonna have them turning in to stop the traffic from being backed up okay right and then I mean really this should be one way so I'm gonna do that for one way and Oh, it already is. It already is. Ignore me. I'm an idiot. Well. Now we get the fun. So you come out to there. And. You're going up to there. You're straight on. And. So are you. Okay. That's pretty fine. And traffic seems to have lined up there then. Now we seem to be having issues here. And it seems like. Hmm. Seems like supply and demand is met, it's just not meeting it efficiently. So one of the things we could look at doing in the next episode is coming back in here and revising how this all works. Because evidently there is a big issue that's going on that is everyone's trying to get all their stuff to trains, which is perfectly fine. And then all bottlenecks and then they're all like sending for supply requests instantly and it's not doing them any favors and i don't get why they're doing that like you know it's a bit inefficient and another inefficiency i'm seeing here really evolves around these intersections so one of the things i'm going to do here is stop this kind of crossing that's going on okay and then that seems to be insisting that there's not actually a... Oh, it's because it's a turning in, yeah. Yeah, well that's fixed that issue. Okay. Are these full yet? These are pretty, pretty full. And I love how this is all like not enough buyers for products. Um, and yeah, I would argue evidently there is. A bit curious to see if. So we've gone up in a mount there, which is always good. High crime rate. That's more stable now, which is nice to see. These are definitely more stable. Okay. 
So with that done, guys, I think we're going to wrap up here. We've done pretty well in today's episode, and I think tomorrow we're going to definitely have more fun with it. But with that said, as always, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.